Hey guys, how was our trip on the ship? I love everything, Dad. I love ships. I like it too! Uh oh! Oh no! Ah! Guys, hold on to everything! Oh! JJ, where are you? What do we do? We have to be careful now, Mikey. We don't know what's lurking beneath the surface. You think something's down there? This is the ocean, Mikey. What now? Our parents are gone. How can we be? I don't know how to survive at sea. Don't worry, Mikey. The main thing is to stay in peace and a little bit to build our base. Look, there is a bloop swimming. It's green and apparently childish. The main thing is to stay calm and not panic so as not to stand out. <laughs> but what about us? We are too small. We can't handle him if he decides to attack us. Ah! Huh? Oh, this is for you. Huh? This bloop can talk and also gave a chest with supplies. What? It's the boards. We can improve our base. We can survive. All thanks to this bloop. <laughs> Run, Mikey. Get to the debris now. Huh? What's the matter, JJ? I didn't see anything. Did you get that impression? I understand. <gasps> ah! JJ, help. It's a shark. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Just keep moving. Stay on the debris. Don't fall into the water. Jump. Get to the next plank. Don't stop. We just have to hold on a little longer. What was that? I can't believe it. We were saved by a bloop. What now, JJ? We're safe for now. We have to keep moving. Let's get to more solid ground. Oh. What? Uh, JJ, those, those are huge. What do we do? Mikey, I don't think we can outrun these ones. They're gonna eat us, aren't they? We're done for. Don't be afraid. They wanna help. I think so. And it's saying they want to help us. Help us? Why would they help us? You're alone. No family. My parents say we should take care of you. Wait. You mean they want to adopt us? Look. Look what I found. Um, what is all this? It's just stuff. Yeah. It looks like it's been sitting at the bottom of the ocean for a while. Hmm. <clears throat> you need to look inside. See if there's anything useful. It's treasure. We can use it to build. <gasps> But wait, there are some planks in here. You're right, we can build a floating house. With these planks and some rope, we can make a platform to start. And with the fishing net, we can catch some fish. We won't starve out here. Okay, so we'll use these planks to make a base. You're doing great. You'll love it here with us. And then we can use the rope to tie everything together. Look, here comes Mama Blue. I brought you some supplies to help with your home. Wow, she's so big. I wonder what she has for us. This is amazing. We can cook the fish and use the wool for our beds. We should definitely start a fire to cook these. And the wool, we can make the coziest beds ever. What? <laughs> Mikey, what's wrong? I just, I miss our parents. Where did they go? Why did they leave us? I know it's hard, but I'm sure they're okay. They probably got swept away by the current. They're looking for us, Mikey. I believe that with all my heart. Woohoo! You really think so? Absolutely. We just need to stay strong and keep going. We can build a home here. And when they find us, we'll be ready. OK, let's build a home. We can make a furnace to cook the fish Mama Bloop gave us. We need to arrange these like this. And then we can use some wood for fuel. Once we cook the fish, we'll have a delicious meal. I can't wait to taste it. And after that, we should make beds. We'll need a cozy place to sleep. This is so fun. I never thought I'd be building a house underwater with my best friend. Me neither. This is the best adventure ever, even without our parents. It feels safe here. Look at this. It's so soft. I could sleep for days. Yeah, we'll make this place the best home ever. And when mom and dad come back, they'll be so proud of us. <laughs> I hope so. That's it. Our cozy water house is now ready and we are safe. Hmm. <clears throat> huh? Oh no! JJ, look! There are sharks coming! They're after the little blue! We have to help him! Quick, Mikey! Get ready! But what can we do? How can we help? We have no weapons! Huh? Idea! Jump over here! It's safe! Don't worry! You are safe with us! It was close! I was so scared! Yay! You're safe now! I'm glad you're okay! <laughs> now, the most important thing is to understand how to get rid of these sharks! Otherwise, we will have to tolerate these sharks circling around our house. Whoa, did you see that? The big bloop just saved him. Go on, little buddy. Your family is here. We really need to be careful, though. The ocean can be unpredictable. What a powerful and cool bloop father. That's what the head of the family means. 
Finally, these sharks will know how to attack us and Bloop. Woohoo! <laughs> finally, all this shark busting is over. I can finally be calm. Yes, let's throw Bloop back into the sea. Hey, little guy, it's all safe now. You should go back with your family. Don't worry, your big Bloop friend took care of those sharks. You'll be fine down there. All right, no more stalling. Time for a little push. There he goes, back where he belongs. See? Told you it'd be fine. Yeah, and now it's safe with its family again. Let's hope no more sharks come around. Woohoohoo! Phew, that was close. But hey, we did it. Yep, now they're all good. We've got to stay sharp, though. Out here, anything can happen. Mikey, look what I found. These goggles are for underwater swimming. I've got an idea. This glass can be used as an aqua body. I will be able to breathe underwater and search for treasure at the bottom of the ocean. Wow, JJ, that's going to be really cool. I hope you can find something useful. Hey, little buddy, come here for a second. Listen, we've been thinking. Do you know if there's a sunken pirate ship somewhere down there? Maybe something with treasure chests inside? We could really use some supplies like a bow and arrows to protect ourselves from the sharks. Looks like we're onto something. If we can get down there, we might find some treasure we can use to defend ourselves. All right, I'll use these goggles and dive down to see what I can find. This is it, a sunken pirate ship. I can't believe we actually found one. I bet there's something valuable in there, something that'll help us fight off those sharks. All right, JJ, focus. Just get inside and see what you can find. Yes, there they are. I knew it. I knew there would be treasure down here. Come on, JJ. Let's see what these pirates left behind. Iron, this is perfect. We can use this to craft some stronger tools. No way, this is exactly what we needed. Arrows, and so many of them. Mikey was right. We'll be able to defend ourselves from anything with these. But with all these arrows, we're already in great shape. This is a gold mine. Iron, redstone, arrows. This is going to change everything. Mikey and I won't have to worry about those sharks anymore, and we'll be able to protect ourselves if anything else shows up. This place, this pirate ship, it's like it was waiting for us to find it. All right, it's time to get back to Mikey. He's going to flip when he sees what I've found. I just hope nothing too dangerous shows up on the way out. Wow, I can't believe I actually found all that treasure. This is going to be amazing. Just imagine what we can do with iron, redstone, and all those arrows. It's like we struck gold down there. With the iron, we can craft stronger tools and armor. No more flimsy wooden stuff that breaks after a few hits. We'll be able to take on anything that comes our way. Sharks, monsters, you name it. And the arrows. Oh, Mikey is going to be so thrilled when he sees all these. He'll finally get his bow and we can defend our little home out here. This place isn't just an ocean anymore. It's our new home. We can build anything we want. And speaking of building, I almost forgot. There was so much driftwood around the ship. We can use that to build more. I can already see it in my mind. A sturdy house on the water, crafted from all that wood. Imagine it, Mikey. A real home with walls and everything. What if? What if we could signal for help? If we build a platform out of all that driftwood, we could create a signal that would attract attention. Imagine it, a big fiery beacon. If someone sees it from a distance, they might come to rescue us. We could gather all the wood we found and stack it up high. Then we could set it on fire. The flames would light up the night sky and anyone nearby would definitely notice. They'd think, what's that? There's something going on out there. Just picture it boats, or even helicopters flying overhead, searching for the source of the smoke. They'd see us. They'd realize we're stranded out here. And then they would come to save us. It's a brilliant plan. We'll set the platform ablaze and hope that someone is out there watching the skies. I just know it will work. We just have to stay positive. And even if it doesn't work right away, it's worth a shot. We can't just wait around and hope for a miracle. We have to take action. We're adventurers after all. It's gonna be our signal for help. Okay, okay, I've got the wood, but I also need something extra to make the fire really stand out. That's when I remembered those bricks I found earlier. They're not just any bricks. They're the kind that can burn. 
In Minecraft, bricks can be used in so many ways. But did you know that they can also be set on fire? Just think about it. If I stack these bricks on the platform and set them ablaze, the flames will catch the attention of anyone who's nearby. It's like creating a giant SOS sign for anyone out at sea. The glow from the fire will reflect on the water, creating a beacon that shines for miles. If someone is out there, they won't be able to miss it. Mikey, I can't believe how everything is coming together. I was just thinking about how these bricks can really help us out. If we stack them up and set them on fire, it'll create a huge signal that anyone out at sea will definitely see. Yeah, I get that, JJ. But do you really think it'll work? I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere, and it feels like we're so far away from everyone. Are you really going to leave? I'm going to miss you both so much. Yeah, we have to. But we'll always remember our time together. It was so much fun, wasn't it? Definitely. I've never had an adventure like this before. You helped us so much, little Bloop. I'll miss playing and building with you. I had so much fun, too. You're my best friends. I'll always remember the time we spent together. And we'll remember you, too. You're part of our adventure now. Just remember, if you ever need us, we'll always be thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, oh, I can't believe it. After everything we've been through, we might finally get to go home. I wonder how our families have been. Do you think they've been looking for us? They have to be. I can't imagine what they must be feeling. I've missed my mom and dad so much. It's been a crazy adventure. Hello, guys. We're here to rescue you. Get in the helicopter. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, Mikey, it's kind of hard to wrap my head around everything that just happened. I mean, just a few days ago, we were on that ship, having a great time with our families, and now we've been through a shipwreck, faced off against sharks, and even had adventures with the Bloop family. It feels like we've lived an entire lifetime in just a few days. I know, right? One minute we're laughing and playing games, and the next, we're swimming for our lives and building a house on the water, and the Bloop family. They were so big and scary at first, but they turned out to be our allies. Goodbye, dear Bloop family. Goodbye. See you later. It was great. Guys, I'm sorry to say this at this point, but I'm losing control. We're falling. Ah! <laughs> nope. Okay, JJ, think. First things first, we need to assess the situation. We've crash landed on this island, and it looks like we're completely alone. Mikey is out cold, and I have to do something to help him. I remember reading that certain potions can wake up unconscious players, but I need to gather some materials to brew them. Let's see what I can find around here. All right, first thing I need is a crafting table. Baby Bloop, there you are, always on time. Can you call your parents? They could help us. Yes, of course, JJ, I'll do my best. If I can get some wood, I can craft tools to gather more resources. Did you know that in Minecraft, if you break logs, they drop wooden planks? It's like magic. I just need to be careful and find a tree. This island might have some hidden treasures or dangers lurking around. Let's hope for the former. There they are. Time to get chopping. Once I have enough wood, I can make a wooden axe, which will help me gather more resources faster. And with that, I can get started on my potion brewing station. I heard that brewing potions involves not just the right ingredients, but also using a brewing stand. Those are typically crafted with blaze rods and cobblestone, but I'll have to make do with what I can find here for now. Let's see, what else do I need? I should definitely keep an eye out for some sugarcane or nether wart, which are common potion ingredients. If I can find a few of those, I could brew a potion of regeneration, which would be perfect for waking Mikey up, or even a potion of healing. If I manage to find any glistering melons or gold, Mikey, I won't let you down. I promise I'll find a way to wake you up. I just need to keep working and gather as many resources as I can. You know, when I think about redstone, it's fascinating how it can be used to create all sorts of contraptions. With redstone, you can build hidden doors, traps, and even automated farms. If I had some right now, I could make a complex system to gather materials even faster. Wait a second. I just remembered that I need some berries for the potion. Specifically, blackberries. They're perfect for enhancing the healing properties. I've seen them on other islands before. If I can just find a nearby island, I might be able to gather some. I know it's just a little fruit, but in Minecraft, every ingredient matters. I've heard stories about players crafting amazing potions with just a handful of the right items. I have to believe that I can do the same. I can't believe my luck. I'm going to make this potion. 
Just imagine the look on Mikey's face when he wakes up and sees me with the ingredients ready. It's going to be awesome. I'll tell him all about my adventure to find these. I just have to be quick and careful. I can't let anything distract me now. All right, now let's see. I have the blackberries, some fish for sustenance, and I can use the glass I found to create the potion. With this setup, I'll finally be able to brew the potion and save Mikey. Let's do this. Time to brew a potion that will make a difference. I did it. This potion is ready to wake you up. Just hold on, buddy. I'm going to save you. This will heal you. You've got to wake up. Come on, Mikey. We need you. We can escape this island together. Yes, you're waking up. I knew you could do it. I can't believe you saved me, JJ. You're the best friend ever. Of course. I knew you'd pull through. Now we can finally get off this island. Hey, little ones. I heard you need a lift. Ready to go home? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Bloop Father. Adventure awaits. Let's hop on and get back to our families. I can't wait to tell them everything, and we'll always stick together.